between you and me, this Sunday, we are going to have some important information revealed to us about a global, life-changing, top-level mission that we are part of. I would say that it was top secret, but do you know what? This has not got to be top secret. It is vitally important that this is revealed to the whole world. This operation, Operation Reach the World, can change the world. And it's down to you and down to me. So, on Sunday morning, we will find out more. On Sunday morning, top level agent Norman Iverson will reveal to us a five point action plan of our mission and you can listen in and as you hear the five points revealed to us as you hear the five actions revealed you can colour them in on your action plan and you can even add to it actions that you can do as your part of this mission. Listen carefully. Agent Iverson will reveal more. As will Agent Sargentson. Agent Sargentson will encourage you to wham! What about me? What does this mission mean to you? Because it does need you. You will need to prepare for this mission. What better way to prepare for this mission than with worship? So you have to think, how will I worship God? How will I offer him my praise this week? Will I dance? Will I sing? Will I clap? Will I stamp? Will I make my drums and play my drums? Will I play the guitar? Will I quietly think about it? Will I colour it? How will you join in with the worship this week? Agents, Shelley, Shelley and Shelley will be using their double-edged, sharper than sharper sword and reading the Bible to us. Agents, Haldane and Haldane, will be using the most prayerful weapon, prayer. The most powerful weapon, prayer, to encourage us all to pray. I will be there encouraging you to make a crown because you see we are children of God and it is as children of God that we earn our place to be agents and be on this special mission. As children of God we have a job to reach the world but as children of God, as God's children, we are heirs of the King and we need a crown and on your crown you can decorate it with the words of the actions that you could do to help reach the world. Remember, as part of this, your mission, to take photographs to record your actions and feed them back into the top secret WhatsApp group via your parents. And of course, afterwards, you can also have virtual coffee this week once again. Enjoy Sunday morning. Look forward to spending it with you, the other agents and me. So, Kingdom Kids. Let's think about our mission a little bit more. Let's think about how we are called to reach the world. What an amazing job. But you need your instructions. Da, da, da. At this moment, your operation, reach the world, instructions should come to you from your parents. Go and ask them for them if they don't give them to you. They should come like this your instructions for reaching the world are in this envelope your mission kingdom kids is approved and you are chosen this mission is approved by the top man the commissioner the boss god himself you are chosen to be his agent on this mission it says, you have been specially chosen by the boss, the maker of all, the commissioner himself, to take part in this top level mission. Operation Reach the World. If you choose to accept this mission, you will be authorised by the commissioner himself, by God himself and given his authority 
to reach the world. To carry out the instructions, you will be equipped with the highest level weapons available. The immeasurably powerful Holy Spirit will give you the power you need. Your Bible, the sharpest double-edged sword available on planet Earth and the most powerful weapon of all, prayer. Okay, your mission, if you accept it, is as follows. And Norman Iverson, Agent Norman, will tell you more. But you, your mission is as follows. You have five things to do as part of your mission. You have to share the good news of Jesus. You have to tell others how Jesus came and Jesus lived and Jesus showed the way and Jesus died and then Jesus came back to life again to give us new life from our sin. You have to share that good news. You have to teach believers, encourage believers, teach new believers, teach them more and more about Jesus and baptise them. You have to love others. As Jesus loved others, you have to be Jesus. You have to model the love of Jesus to the world and show that love to the world. You have to transform this unfair world. We have to be fairness models. We have to show justice and mercy and fairness to those around and transform this world from an unfair world. Lastly, you have to care for God's amazing creation. That is what you have been chosen for. That is the mission that you have been specially selected, given authority to do. Agents, will you accept the mission? Will you sign on the dotted line and say, yes, I'm up for it. I want to be part of Operation Reach the World. I want to do that. Here I am, God. If you are, sign. I choose to accept this mission. Agent Potts. Okay. So, do you know what though? I've signed on that dotted line and now I'm feeling a little bit scared. <gasps> oh my goodness, what, what a hard thing to do. Well, let me show you how you've been equipped and so you can do it because you are empowered by the Holy Spirit, because you've got prayer as a powerful weapon, because you've got the mighty sword and you can make a difference. Let me show you how you can make a difference. I've got some dominoes. This one is me. There I am. I need to make sure you can see. There I am at the front. But that is also you at the front. There we are at the front. Then I'm going to arrange the other dominoes and I want you to think that these other dominoes are other people. Who could you tell the good news to? Who could you teach about Jesus? Who could you show the love of Jesus to? How can you care for the world? How can you transform the unfairness? But do you know what? It just starts with you doing it for one person just doing it in a little way and if you this one at the front do it a little bit it affects loads of others and it has a knock-on effect and you can transform all those people in fact it's even bigger than that it's even more effective than that so if you tell someone if you share the good news if you share god's love if you teach others about Jesus and then if they do it to somebody else 
and to others. It grows and it grows and it grows. One should tell another. You tell someone, you do it for someone. Look at the effect it has. It knocks on from one person to the next, to the next, to the next, and goes lots and lots and lots of different directions. It spreads because of you, because you said yes and signed on the line for your mission to reach the world. So, actually, I want to tell you a little bit about a prophecy. So a prophecy is a word from God that's given to someone to tell the rest of us about it. The other week, Bishop Jill came and preached at church. And in her preach, it was a bit of a prophecy. It was a message from God. And something that God has said to us at St. James's Church is that part of our mission, part of our role is to call people out of their darkness and into the light and to set people free from the things that tie them down. So our mission is going to do that. If we do these five things, we are going to be setting people free. We are going to be bringing light to the darkness. That is what God has given us to do. And this week at home, in your families, you can do some activities, some challenges, a Bible challenge, a family challenge, and a prayer challenge that will help you think about this call to action, this mission that we've been given. So what can you do at home this week to help you explore this more, to sign on that line, and to think a bit more about the job that God has given you to do? Well, the first thing that you can do is the Bible challenge. And this week, there is a video on YouTube that I would love you to watch called The Great Commission that is done by some kids. I'm going to share that on the web page. You can watch it. It's very short and the kids will tell you about the mission that you've been commissioned to do by God. Your family challenge. Two things. Play dominoes. Make domino soldiers. Make a domino run. Why don't you draw a picture of yourself, sellotape it to the first domino and watch the effect that you can have. You might be extra clever, you might split the dominoes and keep split, oh they've fallen over and they might keep splitting and keep splitting and going their separate ways and then you might see the effect it has. Play dominoes and make a domino run and think about the effect that you're going to have as you tell the good news and you share the love in this world. Second thing, pack your mission bag. Think about, now we could have drawn this but I thought no, let's get a bag and let's think what would we put in our mission bag to go and reach the world. Now going and reaching the world might only mean Clitheroe, might only mean Worley, might only mean Accrington. It might mean somewhere else, but it might only mean that. Wherever we go, this is our mission. From our own homes in lockdown, this is our mission. Okay, but what do you need? I've hinted at a few things. Your sword, you'll need that. What are you gonna pack in your mission bag? Will you pack Haribo? Our prayer challenge this week is a Haribo prayer. There's lots of different ways of praying, but you can have a really good Haribo prayer. So this is our Reach the World Haribo prayer. And there are some instructions that your parents can download from the web page. Go to do this as a family. First step, if you accept this mission, Operation Reach the World. If you say yes, then you can open the packet. And as you open the packet, you can pray. Mighty God, I am ready and willing to go and reach the world with your help. I can't do it on my own. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I want to go in your name. Next. Now we all know that in a packet of Haribo there are different types of sweets. 
there are eggs, there are cola bottles, there are teddies, there are hearts and there are rings. Each one of those five sweets is going to be one of the five actions as that we have to do as part of this mission. Action number one is to go tell the good news and I've got an egg and an egg is new creation and when we share the good news people become new creations, get new life, amazing life from Jesus. So as you hold the egg in your hand waiting to eat it you're going to ask God to fill you with his mighty power and make you fearless and bold and brave as you tell other people the good news of Jesus. Then you're going to get a teddy bear, one little teddy bear and as you as you think about eating the teddy bear you are going to pray that the Holy Spirit will make you strong and brave to teach other people about Jesus, to teach them so that when they choose to start following, then you start to teach them and tell them more and more about Jesus so that they will become disciples and followers like we are. And you can baptise them in the name of Jesus. Next one, a heart. And of course that represents love and we're going to, as we think about eating that one we're going to ask God to help us to be Jesus models. We're going to ask that we share God's love with everyone around us. Next the ring. Rings can be very expensive can't they? So the ring is a symbol how in the, this world there are people who have lots and people who don't have so much. It's a symbol that sometimes the world isn't fair and we're going to pray that we transform the unfairness, that we bring fairness because we carry God's love because we're filled with the Holy Spirit. We can't do this on our own, we can only do it with the power of the Holy Spirit. Last is the bottle, the cola bottle and we know that the oceans are full of plastic and we need to recycle more so the cola bottle is a reminder that we need to care for God's amazing creation. So, as you pray, then you can eat and share. Perhaps you might just have one sweet each and each person in your family pray for one area. You might pray for people and things you can do and you might ask for God to guide you. So, your challenge is watch the video about the Great Commission. Play dominoes, unpack your case, Haribo prayer. Okay, there is also a word search and a colouring sheet that you can have a go at that's online. So, for now, it's time for me to say goodbye and to leave you with the challenge of your mission. Your mission to go, your mission to go and reach the world. And the wonderful thing is, it means you, not just the Wrinkleys, but you young ones as well as us older ones. So... I want to pray for you now and I want to say mighty God fill these amazing children with your Holy Spirit and send them show them where they can be bringers of good news where they can be teachers of good news about Jesus where they can be love bringers where they can be fairness where they can be carers of the environment they are the young the bold the brave the fearless they're the ones who carry love into the darkness. I send them now in your name. Amen. Agents, it's time to go. We have a mission. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Okay, off we go. Bye.